Hello, everyone. I want to just talk to you a little bit about overcoming the world. You know, the comfort of heaven helps to keep us and sustain us through dark hours, but it is not and should never be the focus of the gospel we preach. Scripture promised us that Jesus would rescue us from a world on the brink of overcoming us, but that in him, he would overcome the world. In John chapter 16, verse 33, Jesus said, I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. Now in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And when we look at 1 John chapter 5, verse, verses 4 through 5, he says, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Now what this means is that when we live and think and act like kingdom citizens, we can experience success, victory, and fruitfulness, not in the sweet by and by when we get to heaven, but today, this week. It means that we can overcome right now. We don't have to be or remain victims of our circumstances. We can avail ourselves of our kingdom citizenship and all its blessings, rights, and benefits to help us rise above our circumstances either to change them or to prosper and move forward in spite of them. Kingdom living does not sit back meekly in submission and defeat before the onslaught of the world. Kingdom living moves forward with confidence, advancing forcefully in the wisdom, power, and boldness that are ours as children of God. Nothing outside of us is bigger than what is inside of us. That is what John meant when he wrote, You dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. That is an unbe unbeatable formula for victory. And if we are being overcome by the world, then we are not experiencing what the Lord wants us to have something is missing. If life is beating us, then either we have gotten the wrong good news, which is the same as bad news, or we have gotten no news at all. Well, I want to give you some good news today. And that is, the good news is that in Christ, we are citizens of the kingdom of heaven. And all the resources that kingdom are available to us to help us live in victory on a daily basis in the here and now. God bless you.